Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Run in the Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how I make my favorite rice. It's pilau. It's simple, it's delicious. I love this recipe because every time I make this rice and I serve it, it just brings up that conversation on the table and everyone enjoys the meal and everyone has a comment about the rice. And trust me, it's simple. It's the simplest rice you'll ever make. It doesn't matter whether you're in a hurry, whether you are you have the whole time. It's just the best. And remember, they say a meal shared tastes better. And this this rice it tastes better when you share with your family and your loved one. So let me take you through the ingredients so that you can start. For my ingredients, I have tomatoes, I have an onion, I have ginger, I have three maggi cubes, I have garlic, and I have my self-made pilau masala, which is almost over, but it's enough for today. I have some water and some rice that I've already washed here. And of course, you're going to need some oil and salt. So I'll start by preparing all this stuff. Remember, I am not a pro when it comes to pillow making. There are so many different, different recipes out there, but of course I trust mine because it's, it's, it has never failed me, you know? So I'll just cut big chunks and put them in the blender. So all these products here, all these ingredients here, I'm just going to throw them in a blender. So remember to cut your ginger into small pieces so that when you blend them, they blend completely and you will be left some big chunks in the blender after you've blended everything together. And then I'm going to add in some water. So the only thing remaining is the pillow masala and the maggi cube and the rice. Everything else in the blender. So now that's my um, products, or let me say, now that I've finished with my mise en place here, they are ready. So I'll let them just rest for a few minutes as I preheat my oil. And remember, because you're cooking rice, make sure the water that you're going to use to cook the rice is heating up as well. Because you're not going to use cold water. If you use cold water, your rice is going to be mushy and it's going to take a long time to cook or to start burning from the bottom. So make sure this the, the amount of water, the way you measure your water for cooking the rice. Yeah, you put it in a small sphere and put it in a, on an extra jiko and let it start heating up as the tomatoes cook. And then when we get to that point of adding in the water, we'll be having some hot or warm water. So here the secret is don't use cold water. And of course measure your water correctly. If you don't know how to measure your water, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a video of that next time. Garlic and ginger cook until the water dries up completely, and then from there, we are going to move on to the next step. So, guys, as you can see. 
see again my tomatoes they are almost ready they are not ready yet so what i'm going to do i'm going to add in my maggi cubes Serving that with this pilau of mine today. 
feel it's tasty and I love the aroma it's not uh, mushy as you can see it's not very perfect neither is it bad but seriously I believe in what I've made so we're going to serve it So guys, as you can see, my rice is ready. I love the color, the aroma. And you see, the good thing is that you can as well eat it the way it is. Maybe with some avocado or just like that. It's still fine. So for me, I'm going to add on some chicken and some avocado salad because I have them to see, to enjoy it better. So if you haven't watched the other two videos, go on my channel, Friend in the Kitchen, for the cooked chicken and the avocado salad that will spice up your pilau and I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and you love this recipe and if anything let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye!